I know you can read my thoughts, Bart. Just a little reminder. If I find out you cut class, your ass is mine. Yes, you heard me. I think words I would never say. I know you can read my thoughts, boy. Meow 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 meow. Welcome back, everyone, to more from the Sable Eyes. I'm Mitch, and today we're going to take a look at Catapult. It's Dragapult with a Cataday engine to try and take as many knockouts on benched Pokémon as possible. Well, we bother with the Pokemon that are in the active, we just don't want to knock them out. Let's take a look at this deck list over on PTCGO and I'll explain how it's supposed to work. So it's a pretty simple concept really. We've got Dragapult VMAX, which is a very powerful VMAX card. that You can use with 2 energy to attack for 130 into the active, and then place 5 damage counters on your opponent's bench. It gets around things like Mew, which is fantastic, and it's in a very strong position in the meta at the moment. Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX and Rapid Strike Urshifu are both incredibly popular, and they're both weak to Dragapult, so a good option for sure. But, it doesn't do that much damage to the active, so we're not going to try and take knockouts there. Instead, we're going to try and deal as much damage to the bench as we possibly can, maybe shift the active Pokémon back to the bench at some point, and then try and take a knockout with Esper. It has the attack Ear Kinesis, which does 20 damage times the amount of damage that is already on a Pokémon. So, for example, if there are 50 damage counters, because we've placed 50 from Dragapult, Ear Kinesis deals 100 to that Pokémon. If we're... If if there's 100 damage counters on a Pokemon, it deals 200. So we can get easy, big knockouts with Esper. The problem is that Eakinesis is a very expensive attack, but there is a way to get around that. We have Persian with Gathering of Cats. This ability means that we ignore all energy cost of any Pokemon's attacks if they have the attack Cataday, which we've noticed our Esper does, oh, that's boss's orders, our Esper does have, it has Cataday at the top. So as long as we have our Persian in play, our Cataday Pokemon's attacks are free, we'll be able to attack with Esper for nothing. Also, important to note, Persian has free retreat, which is very, very cool. A couple of other cards to talk about, obviously we've got lots of switch cards, but Escape Rope is a very important one in this deck list. We want to hit into our opponent's active on one turn, play some damage counters, and then push that Pokémon back to the bench so we can use Ear Kinesis to potentially knock it out. If we've hit it once, it has 130 damage on it, that's 13 damage counters, we'll do 260 damage to it if it's on the bench with Cataday, uh, with Esper, sorry, and Ear Kinesis. So Escape Rope, very powerful, that's why I've got three of them in there. I've also got Grimsley, the supporter card, which allows us to move three damage counters from one Pokemon to another, just in case a Pokemon doesn't need as many damage counters to be knocked out. We can move them across to something else and save them for later. Or, maybe we've put five damage counters onto something like a Crobat, we can move some damage counters off of another Pokemon onto that Crobat so that Ear Kinesis can knock it out for two prizes. So, an interesting card, probably not required in this deck list, but I thought it was really cool and that we'd give it a go. Now, it's important to note, as you watch these videos, uh, I've got an Elder Goss in the list that I've provided to you. This is a good card. In some of the videos, I think I have a Mewtwo, uh, which I put in there because originally when I was playing this list, I had Scoop Up Nets. But I took them out and forgot to change the Mewtwo out. So, if you are going to play along, play with the Elder Goss, don't play with the Mewtwo. Uh, I don't know how many games it's in, to be honest, but we'll, we'll wait and see. Let's go over to those games right now. Okay, here we go. We've got ourselves a Crobat to start with. We're playing against Pikachu Zekrom, so that's a an interesting start. Let's get rid of this boss's orders. We will grab Dragapult V. Uh, we'll throw that onto the field and then attach an energy. Uh, our hand here is actually perfect for next turn. We've got Dragapult V Max and an energy to attack. We've got Air Balloon. Um, that will be annoying. Thank goodness. Uh, we've got Air Balloon to get the Crobat out of the active, and we've got Research to draw more cards. So, we are in a really, really good spot here to attack next turn, but obviously, Picaron does have Energy Denial. Crushing Hammer could put us a turn behind, which would suck. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to encourage the Pokemon Gods to do that. Please don't Crushing Hammer me. Um, they've attached... 
a Speed Lightning to the Picaron, which is good for us. It means that they're not likely to be able to use Bolton this turn without some big moves. And uh, we're attacking, which is great. Let's put the VMAX into play. We will attach to the Dragapult, attach the Air Balloon, and then play Professor's Research. Um, I will say that this matchup is a pretty... Oh, God, that's a terrible hand. Let's, um, let's retreat here. What are we going to do? Do we come away something and get a Meowth? To evolve into the Persian, that's a free switch. But if we don't draw more cards, we could be in trouble. Perhaps we go for another Dragon. This is so awkward. What do we do here? Maybe we just attack. Let's just attack. Maybe they'll Marnie us and I won't need to consider what I'm doing. We'll just put the damage onto the Raichu at the back there. We can hopefully knock that out down the track. Uh, 260 damage is going to be easy enough for us to hit. As I was saying, this matchup is a pretty good one for Dragapult because Pikachu and Zekrom and Raichu and Raichu are both too hittable. Means that Dragapult VMAX can pretty much do the job itself. I mean, we can hit into this Picarom next turn for 130 damage and comfortably take the knockout. Uh, we can potentially put another five damage counters on that Raichu and Raichu this turn as well, uh, which will mean that maybe we can get a knockout on it down the track. It is a little awkward. 260 and 50 don't really go too well together, but if we do put another 40, 30 damage onto the Raichu, uh, we can use Eokinesis to knock it out, which would be perfect. So let's try and do that, shall we? Um, our opponent didn't money us, so they've forced us to make a decision about this hand, which I'm not happy with. Um, but now at least we can go... Okay, there's a quick ball. That's, this is fine. I was about to say, now at least we can go, well, we're going to get knocked out this turn, so we're probably going to need another Dragapult. So let's calm away the Dragapult VMAX. I think I'm going to go for a Dedenne this turn, and I will also quick ball and grab a uh, copy of Dragapult V as well. Get rid of the Persian, because at the moment we don't really need it. We've got another one in the deck anyway. I uh, will play the Dragapult down. We'll attach an energy. Uh, we will... Do we play the Mew? We might as well play the Mew just in case. Uh, and then we'll Dedenne and draw six cards. So hopefully... Uh, yeah, we found the Quick Ball, which means we can get the Meowth down this turn. We've got a Marnie, which is fantastic, so we can draw some more cards as well. Uh, this has actually worked out quite nicely. I'm very happy with this one. Let's play that money. Reduce our opponent's hand size. Maybe we can find ourselves copies of... There's an Esper. Great. Um, we've got Mewtwo. We've got Research. So we can potentially find our Persian this turn and attack for Eokinesis. So let's place all those damage counters onto that Raichu. That means that when we do get our, per, uh, sorry, our Esper attacking, we'll be able to deal 200 damage. Um, and yeah, we should, be, we should be good to go. We're grabbing three prizes here. Hopefully... We win the game. That's all I can say. Hopefully, we win the game. Now, we have Level Ball. Level Ball in hand won't find us the Persian, because Persian has a frustrating 100 HP, which means that it's not searchable uh, with Level Ball. We can only search for Pokemon with 90 uh, HP or less. So we don't have access to that. Missed another Crushing Hammer, which is fantastic. And another Crushing Hammer, which is even better. Um, we are being moneyed, which is disappointing, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, if one of those Crushing Hammerheads had have hit, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal, though, because we're going to try and use Esper next turn. Um, okay. Our plans have changed. We will not be playing Esper this turn. Um, what are we going to do? Maybe... Okay, here's what I think we might do. I think we, depending on what we top deck, obviously if we top deck like a research, the plan changes. But I think we're actually going to promote the Crobat, we're going to attach the Dragapult and then gust out the Raichu anyway. Because um, that will at least deal a significant chunk of damage to this Raichu. Uh, Jet Assault does 60 plus 80 more, so we deal a solid 140, but it's not going to be a knockout. It does, however put that Raichu and Raichu within range of being knocked out of our, by our Mew. So, if we find an energy at some point during this game, we will win. And our opponent needs to take two knockouts, and at the moment they're not going to be able to. Uh, they're not going to be able to take a KO, which is really good. They'll be able to paralyze us here. Um, but yeah, they're, they're still two turns away from winning, so we have got two turns to try and find an energy and a switch. Now, we've not found it yet. Um, I guess, like, I mean, there's nothing really to be done. Uh, we'll level ball, we'll thin the deck out a little bit, grab an Esper, just in, uh, just in case. 
Uh, and then I think we pass. A good thing about this level ball as well is it might encourage our opponent to Marnie us uh, because we've got the Esper in hand. We didn't play it down. Maybe they go, oh, well, we don't want to fall prey to an ear kinesis here. So maybe, yes, they have. Okay, perfect. Maybe they'll Marnie us and hopefully we draw into an energy because the Mew is all we need. They can knock out the Dragapult. I don't care. It doesn't matter anymore. We just need one energy. We don't have it yet. We do have a Com, a Pokemon, we have a Marnie, we have plenty of ways to draw cards. Uh, we can Crobat and we can Marnie if we want. Um, I think we, we might just Marnie first maybe, or we just top deck into an energy. And we retreat into the Mew, and then we Psy Power and put all the damage on the Raichu and Raichu at the back there and uh, take the win. Now it's disappointing we didn't get to attack with Esper, but I tell you what, we'll play some more and see if we can't do it. I realised that that last bit of video was actually cropped really, uh, really weirdly, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, we will quick ball, grab ourselves a Dragapult, and throw that down. We've got the energy, which is fantastic. We've got a Meowth and a common hand. We're set for a Dragapult VMAX next turn. We will pass. So let's just leave it, uh, leave it at that. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the cropping of that video. That was very strange. Don't know why that happened. Because my face was in the right place, but the game was kind of big. Hmm. I have no idea why that happened. That's okay. I, I don't know what we're actually playing against here. Our opponent's got a Dedenne GX, and that is it. So, literally anything could happen at this point. Um, let's just think about our turn. We could do one or two things. We could find the VMAX and guarantee that we get that in play. Or, because we've started the Meowth... Oh, they're playing a Welder. Okay. Uh, so, it looks like it's a, it's a Fire Death of some description. They don't have any attackers yet, and they've used a welder on the Deno to try and draw some cards, which I like. Uh, as I said, we can get the VMAX to guarantee the attacker, or we can calm since we've got the Meowth in the active, and find the Persian, which has free retreat. So, it depends on what ends up happening here, like, what is our uh, what is our best case scenario. Um, this is kind of awkward. We've got a research, which I'm almost definitely going to play. Let's, uh, let's poke at Com. We're going to find one of those two options. Um, I like the idea of getting the VMAX more because we've got so many ways to get Switch, but we don't have that many ways to get the VMAX. So we'll guarantee that now and we'll research and hopefully... Oh my goodness, we don't find... Oh, we've got the Persian in hand. That's fine. I was about to say, we don't find a Switch mechanic. We actually find the Persian, which is perfect. Uh, let's play down our Esper then. We've got a Pokecom, which is great. Uh, my, my, we've got our own little cat down here whilst I'm playing. Hello, Bucket. You come to see the cats play, have you? Uh, let's grab a Crobat. We'll just draw some more cards here. Uh, we've already got everything that we need um, and see what we come up with. That's actually perfect. Uh, we've got a Dragapult and an Energy. Let's move our VMAX into the active and attack. 130 onto the Dedenne and 50 onto the Reshizard. And this means that when they eventually attack with Reshizard, we'll be able to place a lot of damage counters onto this Dedenne and easily knock it out, which is good. We'll get our first two prizes that way. Um, one of our problems will be, though, we may struggle to knock this Reshizard out without attacking into it again. And if we attack into it again, then that means that our opponent is probably going to be able to knock us out. But, I mean, we're in a position where we're probably going to be okay. We also have boss. So if we want, we can make our opponent... Actually, that's a smart idea. Make our opponent hit into our Dragapult with the um, with the the, the Reshizard. Um, and they'll be... They'll take 40 damage, so they'll go to 90. 90, 180... 270. That quick mass was right. I can guarantee it. Alright, so what we want is we want them to place down a Pokemon that's like a one prizer. If we can. Because then we can gust it out and attack it. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I think that our smart play here is to boss that... Marshadow. Obviously, we're going to evolve into our VMAX. That has to be it, right? That has to be the right play. Boss out the Marshadow, knock out the Dedenne, and then we can... Oh, the issue's going to be putting this Reshizard back onto the bench. If, if we attack into it, it'll be on 2... 220. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, well, I mean, we don't want to boss... Oh, let's boss the thing. Let's let's just do the thing. I mean, both ways that would have worked out really, really well. So let's just max Phantom here. We'll go with the original play. 
Uh, we'll place some damage counters on the Dedene. Um, I didn't need to place them all there. I could have just placed three, but that's okay. We'll place those damage counters there. Um, and an escape rope. That's perfect. And an Elder Goss for the boss. Excellent. Uh, and the Dedene as well. Just by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this at the start of the video or not, but I realized that a Mewtwo in the deck last game um, and forgot that I had taken out the uh, old bot. Ooh. I was about to say, if they boss out the Persian, this is really bad. We can get punished immediately for that. Probably, probably should have just attacked into it. But we want to use the Esper, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, I have the Eldegoss in now. Eldegoss is infinitely better in this deck. I don't know why I was playing with the Mewtwo. Um, I will go back and I will re-record the deck profile portion because uh, the Mewtwo is not good. And look at this. Our opponent's not taking any prizes. We're about to take a knockout with Ear Kinesis, if you don't mind. Escape rope doesn't matter what they bring up. We get to bring up our Esper. And then we click Ear Kinesis for free and deal 220 damage to a Reshizard on the bench. Thank you very much, Little Bunny 0110. Appreciate your time. Victory is. 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 is Ear Kinesis's. I don't know what that last game... Ha something happened in my voice in that last game. I've got no idea what it was. I figured we would play one more. Um, let's quick ball. I will quick ball away the quick ball, I think, to grab a Dragapult. I've just been enjoying this deck so much that I wanted to give it another crack. Uh, I don't know what we're playing against here, but uh, I think I want to use my items whilst I can. Um, we'll save the Pokecom, because worst case scenario, we can research it. Um, I don't want them to, like, Marnie this hand. Make it look like we've got a bad hand. But they very easily could just, like, or they could crush and hammer us. Is this just Picarom again? Except this time it's got a... It's got a little lightning boy. Are they gonna boss the Esper? What? Okay, that's fine. Uh, we will simply have to find another way to deal with that. Um, like that, for example. That could do the job. Let's poke a... <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes you just get the streamer luck, don't you? Um, that's a that's a thing for everyone at home. If you just uh, if you just record your games uh, for your YouTube channel, you will get lucky top decks like nobody's business. Let's research. We need one energy, which we've got. Unfortunately, we don't find the Meowth, but we will play down the Air Balloon because our opponent could paralyzing bolt us this turn. One thirty onto the Vega Volt, fifty onto the Boltons, and uh, we're we're pretty good here. I mean, we don't have access to a Meowth. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to quick ball next turn, but we should take a knockout on the active, and that Bolton in the back is going to have way too much damage on it. In fact, we could gust it. We could almost win this turn. We should just Marnie, but we could almost win this turn by knocking out the Bolton and the Vigor Vault at the same time. We're 20 damage and 10 damage off doing that, um, which is unfortunate, but we do have a Meowth and a Dragapult, which I like. Let's play, uh, let's play the Max Phantom here. We'll do the damage. We'll do 50 to the Bolton. Means we can knock that out next turn. Um, and yeah, we're, we're cruising along here. I've been really enjoying this deck. Like, it's, uh... There's something about it. I don't know what it is. But it just scratches that itch, you know? To be able to hit something that's on the bench for a lot of damage. Your opponent can't run. They can't hide. They can't flip heads on a Crushing Hammer to save their life, these decks, today. Which is really, really big. Because I tell you what, Dragapult does not like Crushing Hammer heads. Uh, so, you know, if uh, if our opponent ever flipped one of their heads, then we'd be in a bit of trouble. Um, but we're in we're in a great spot. We've got a Dedene, we've got an escape rope if we want it. Whether we want to use it or not is another question. Uh, our opponent's going to deal not a lot of damage to us, so we're going to be able to very easily deal with it. I like it. We are looking good. Um, we could play... Oh, that that, that Pokecom is, is also very nice. Let's grab ourselves... The Persian, we can get that and put it in play, which I very much enjoy. Then I think we can just to Dene. They're not likely to attack us next turn. If they do, they're not going to accelerate energy because they need to use their uh, tag bolt attack. We've got the VMAX in hand now. We've got the horror energy as well. That's pretty much all that we need. Um, we could we could boss up. The peak here, if we want to, we could actually boss up the Tapu Coco, which would be very impressive. But to be honest, I think I'm happy with just uh, attacking into the Bolton tier because they've only got two cards left in hand. Um, let's just research. I think that's fine. Did I did I play Marnie this turn? Is that what happened? Have I played two supporters this turn? Or did I get Marnie? Maybe I got Marnie. I don't know. 
regardless. We've not found another energy, which is unfortunate. That's what I was looking for. But we do have the knockout, so let's knock out the Bolton. We'll place the 50 damage onto the Picaron. Uh, this turn, if they want to knock me out, they'll need to use Tag Bolt. Uh, which means... That, there's the energy, by the way. Uh, which means that they'll need to use Tapu Koko. That ability. They're going to need to find, like, two switches... Um, and, well, here's, here's a Pokemon, so that's probably going to be a Crobat or a Dedenne. So, here I am sitting here going, oh, well, they've only got two cards in hand. What's the... Oh, my goodness. The two cards in hand were Quick Ball and a Reset Stamp. Well, I never... Oh, it's fine. We get rewarded for it, for whatever reason. Stamp doesn't work on PTCGO. I tell you what, sometimes you just you press the button, and it goes, oh... Reset stamp. Shuffle your opponent's hand to their deck and give them the cards that they need to win the game. That's what that that's what that card does. That's what it says. They've got the Ebelon on the Tapu Koko. Do they have the switch? Do they have the attachment? Do they have what they need? They've got Dance of the Ancients. So they'll put those energies onto the Pika and onto the Dragapult, which... Onto the Dragapult, onto the Dedenne. Uh, do they have the attachment? Do they have the switch? They have an energy switch. Okay. Alrighty. They're moving it to the active. And they're going to Marnie. I guess they're going, if I find an energy, I can at least attack with Bolt Storm. Still won't get the Nokia. We've been given everything that we need again. Uh, so there you go. The reset stamp didn't end up mattering because our opponent just Marnied us that turn anyway. Uh, they're going to Quick Ball here, by the looks of it. They're really gunning for this uh, for this attack here. The, the ironic thing is, I don't even think that if they get the attack, it really matters that much. Because if they do attack and knock us out, then we just we just hit into them. And what are they going to do about that? They find the switch, so they're going to get the attack off. But yeah, I don't I don't see I don't see that being that big of a deal for us. Seventy damage is pretty respectable, though. We've got what seventy on there. We're going to be able to deal. Oh god, 170 is just too far away to use Ear Kinesis, I think. There's 140 on top of that wouldn't do the damage, so we're going to need to Horror House. Let's Marnie our opponent down to a low hand size, and uh, we'll just do this the old-fashioned way and knock them out with a Dragapult VMAX. Now, what I will do is I'll level ball and grab the Meowth. Uh, we've got the Persian in hand. What I'm doing here is I'm just covering all of my bases. Worst case scenario, after we max Phantom here, we'll just place the 5 damage counters anywhere. It doesn't really matter where they go because the knockout's going to be on the Pika Run. Let's just put them on the Dedenne, I suppose. Um, the worst case scenario for us here would be double hammerheads and then knocking the Persian out. Because that would mean that we have no way to knock the Pikachu out without a boss, right? Now, obviously, we can get that with the Elder Ghost, but beside, you know, you know, you know what I mean. But, if I play down that Meowth there, if they knock out the Persian and get rid of both of the energies, I can just play another Persian. Um, if uh, they knock out the Esper, I can go and grab another Esper. And if I get Marnie, I've got a better chance of... Okay, well, it doesn't, it doesn't end up mattering. They just decided to concede. So I spend all that time trying to figure out how I'm going to win the game. My opponent decides they're just going to quit anyway. We just got Persian. Bang, bang. Knocked it off of the OG 150 challenge. We've got a few decks to carry on with. Let me know in the comments what deck do you think I should go on with next. Uh, there are plenty of good Pokemon left. So shout out those suggestions. Whatever you think uh, we should be playing. And... Thank you very much to all channel members, especially Dadbot, Azazel, and Taco. You guys sticking around on that ascended tier is incredible. Thank you to Fernando, Yolo, Stephen Ty, Agent Abel, Austin Ortiz, Josiah, Andy, Exonix, Robsy, and Caster PD for their generous contribution, as well as all of these white names over here who are Mega Sableyes. Thank you as well to all of my regular Sableye members. I appreciate it. If you'd like to become one, they're down below. There's a link to the membership down there. There's all sorts of stuff. You'll, you'll find it. Click the like button. Do it. Bye. <laughs> I'll see you next time. These outros are getting weirder and weirder.